Okay, so now let's have a look at negative angles. Now I've already mentioned that on the Cartesian plane, negative angles are simply angles measured in the clockwise direction. So if I'm talking about the angle, for example, negative 30 degrees, it means I start at the positive x-axis and measure 30 degrees in the clockwise direction. That might be the angle 30 degrees with the x-axis, but we refer to it as negative 30 degrees on the Cartesian plane. Well, if that's the case, then we simply renumber our cast diagram. Okay, there's our cast diagram. We simply renumber it so that this would be negative 90 degrees. This would be negative 180 degrees. This would be negative 270 degrees and this would be negative 360 degrees back where I started. Now, with that in mind, where this used to be 180 degrees minus, it is now simply negative 180 degrees minus. Where this, that's now the second quadrant. Where the third quadrant used to be negative 180, uh, 180 degrees plus, now it's just negative 180 degrees plus. Where the first quadrant used to be 0 plus, it is now simply negative 360 degrees plus. Where the fourth quadrant used to be 360 degrees minus, now it is simply 0 minus, or negative acute angles appear in the fourth quadrant. Okay, now we can make similar predictions as we had before. If I, for example, have sine of an angle that is, of a negative angle that is in the second quadrant, it would look like this, negative 180 degrees minus theta. This is an angle in the second quadrant because I go all the way in a clockwise direction to negative 180 and a little bit more. Okay, so that puts me in the second quadrant and sine in that quadrant is still positive. An angle in that quadrant will still produce a positive output for the sine function. So this can again just be simplified to that. Uh, if I can quickly think of a random one, let's just drop it. Okay, let's go there. We have negative 360. Negative 300, no, not negative 360. We have negative theta, an angle that is negative, a negative acute angle appears in the fourth quadrant. Okay. Now sine of negative angles will be in the fourth quadrant, sine is negative. How about cos? Cos of a negative angle, a negative acute angle, would be positive because negative angles are in the fourth quadrant and cos is positive in that quadrant. Tan. Tan is simply negative tan of theta because only cos is positive in the fourth quadrant. Now this makes it really simple and I think the upcoming examples that I'm about to show will really demonstrate that this is no more difficult except for having to renumber my cast diagram with negative numbers and this time going in the clockwise direction. See you in the next videos.